Hey, brothers and sisters, Matt Hatton here. So I uh, hope you're having a great week. I am excited about this week in Empires and Puzzles because Guardians of Tell Talk is coming out later this week. Um, I'm excited because it's a new event and I have not experienced it yet, but I'm also excited that the heroes that are featured in this event are Titan Killers. So one of the uh, one of my favorite activities in Empires and Puzzles is definitely Titan Farming. So it's kind of a, a double bonus with Guardians of Tell Talk, uh, from my opinion. I'm really excited about it. I hope you guys are too. Uh, so we'll get into the uh, guide. We're going to go over the first part of the guide this time, uh, similar to what we did last time. And then once the event actually goes live uh, in a couple days, we'll um, cover uh, some additional information as far as if there are any changes uh, that we see in the event itself once it's live. And then we'll probably do some portal pulls, given that it's the first time that I'm seeing this event. Um, but real quick, uh, just wanted to mention, if you are looking for a mid-tier alliance, uh, we have the Peanut Gallery, uh, which I'm fighting in currently, which still has five slots open. Uh, I believe we got three slots uh, filled from the last video. Uh, so there are five left. Um, if you are looking to or for a mid-tier alliance, you probably need to move quick. Uh, the required trophies is 1400 so if you have those trophies, you know, feel free to send us an invite request and we'd love to have you. And then keep in mind, we also have the peanut farm that we set up. That's for your new or lower tier players. Uh, if you don't quite have 1400 trophies yet, don't worry. Uh, we do have 18 spots in the peanut farm. So if you're looking for a nice, uh, fun, safe place to kind of learn about the game and get started, uh, you can join the peanut farm and then we'll help you uh, advance through the game and get leveled up. And then when you're ready to go uh, at any time, you can always move into the peanut gallery uh, and fight with us. So uh, check that out if you're looking for an alliance. As far as the Guardians of Teltoc uh, event, for the challenge event, what we know now is that there are going to be three uh, tiers of the event, rare, epic, and legendary. There are 15 stages in each for a total of 45 uh, stages. And then the world flag cost is going to be 45, 60, and 75 world flags total to get all the way through each tier. And then just keep in mind that uh, the Holy Reflect is active. Uh, so you definitely don't want to be bringing a lot of your Holy Heroes into this event. Um, you know, lean towards Dark Heroes if you have those, um, because obviously they're going to be strong against those Holy Heroes uh, or the Holy uh, bosses that you're going against in those flag so uh dust off your dark and and bring it in the event and starting november 12th you can uh go in a lot uh a lot stronger than maybe if you were uh, planning on using a whole bunch of holy heroes uh so for the guardians of teltoc family bonus um if you have two three four or five of any of these heroes you're going to get the bonus of plus five ten fifteen or twenty percent defense and then you're also getting a plus four six nine or thirteen percent healing uh bonus so those are nice family bonuses, uh, definitely geared towards the Titan as far as survivability. Uh, so I do do like that family bonus as far as the Teltoc heroes, and, you know, and, and Titan specifically. Um, the as far as the uh, heroes that we're going to go over that are featured in Teltoc, uh, just keep in mind the reviews or the scores that I'm going to give them are going to be from the perspective that are they are these heroes good against Titans or are they not? So if I give a, a hero a little bit lower grade, they might be a good hero uh, for other activities in the game, but just as far as the Titans, in my opinion, they're not the best uh, built heroes uh, or ones that you'd want to bring in against those Titans. So we'll jump into it. Uh, so the first one is Guardian Bat. He is a dark uh, wizard. Uh, he's a three-star hero. His stats when fully ascended are gonna be 437 attack, 418 defense, and 862 health. His special is called Merciless Bite and he's running at average mana speed. He's dealing 270% damage to the target and minor damage to nearby enemies. And then the damage is increased by 60% per each dead ally. So Guardian Bat is a really uh, cool hero as far as a three-star hero. Uh, definitely wouldn't recommend bringing him in, into the uh, Titan fights because he's really not doing anything crazy here. Um, he's also, you know, three stars, so hopefully you have some four or five stars uh, that you can bring into the Titans. But, you know, definitely if you're working on, you know, primarily a three-star team with maybe one or two four stars, uh, keep Guardian Bat in mind. Um, I'm just looking at it from the perspective of, you know, the eight or nine-star Titans. I probably wouldn't bring him in myself, uh, but not a bad uh, hero. I kind of like the fact that he's a bat and, you know, not, not a human form or, or some, uh, some form of that. Uh, so the next hero is Guardian Falcon. He is a Fire Paladin. He's a four-star hero. Uh, his stats, when fully ascended, are going to be 552 attack, 
754 defense, and 1126 health. His special is called Blazing Beak, and he's running at average mana speed. So Guardian Falcon is dealing 225% damage to the target and nearby enemies, uh, not the splash damage. So I really like this type of hero uh, that's dealing the full uh, damage to uh, up to three targets. And then the target and nearby enemies are also getting a minus 54% defense against fire for four turns. So this is an elemental defense down. It'll stack nicely against some of the other heroes that just take regular defense down. So I really like uh, this combination of... Um, uh, skills on his special. So Guardian Falcon is definitely going to get an A. Uh, he is a very good nature titan killer. Uh, so as part of a um, five-star uh, fire mono team, uh, Guardian Falcon is definitely going to fit in well. Uh, so great hero. Uh, definitely hope that I can get a hold of him. Uh, Guardian Jackal is the next hero. He is a holy rogue. Uh, he's a four-star hero. His stats when fully ascended are going to be 765 attack. 531 defense and 1032 health his special is called ray strike and he's running at very fast mana speed he's dealing 270 percent damage to a single target and then the target is getting minus 54 percent defense against holy for four turns so again that nice elemental defense down uh, which can couple with the other heroes uh, that might have regular defense down so guardian jackal definitely an a rated hero uh, he's going to be your Dark Titan Killer, um, part of your uh, five-star uh, Holy Mono team. So really love Guardian Jackal, uh, probably one of the uh, coolest uh, heroes in the game, actually. So Guardian Kong is our next uh, hero. He's a five-star uh, legendary. He's a fire, uh, fire Barbarian. His stats when fully ascended are going to be 786 attack, 587 defense, and 1433 health. His special is called Lord of the Jungle, and he's running at average mana speed. Guardian Kong is dealing 250% damage to all enemies. Uh, all allies are getting a plus 94% defense against ice for four turns, and he's dispelling status ailments from all allies. So his specials are interesting. Um, I am going to say that Guardian Kong is rated as a C uh, when it comes to Titans. I really don't like the fact that his defense uh, down is against, um, or his defense protection for your team is against ice, because as a fire hero, you're really going to be taking the fire heroes against nature titans. So I just kind of think this is a mismatch as far as the titans are concerned. He does okay in other aspects of the game, but for the titans, um, not one of your best heroes to take in. For Guardian Owl, uh, he is a Holy Druid. He's a five-star legendary. His stats when fully ascended are gonna be 601 attack, 795 defense, and 1483 health. His special is called Stately Retribution, and he's running at very slow mana speed. He's dealing 280% damage to all enemies. Uh, damage is increased by 50% for each dead ally, and the caster is getting plus 46% defense for five turns, and he's regenerating 765 HP over five turns. So interesting stats. Um, I'm going to give uh, Guardian Owl a C as well. Uh, I don't love the fact that he's running very slow uh, against Titans. You want to bring in your faster heroes because um, the, you know, the time or the clock is ticking. Um, and, you know, the, the damage to all enemies might be good in other aspects of the game, but for the Titan, you really want those heavy hitter snipers, the people that are putting a lot of damage um, on the Titan uh, specifically. And then his specials are really kind of um, affecting himself um, and protecting himself, but it's not really helping your other team in any significant way. So Guardian Owl, not the best hero uh, as far as, you know, for the Titan killers. Guardian Gazelle is a Holy Druid as well. He's a five-star legendary. His stats, when, or her stats, I should say, when fully ascended are 751 attack, 741 defense, and 1324 health. Her special is called Dance of Spirits, uh, which is running at average mana speed. She's removing all dispellable and undispellable, undispellable status effects from all allies except the caster or herself. Uh, the caster is regenerating 612 HP over four turns, which is going to keep her alive, which is good. You'll see why in a second. And then for four turns, all allies except her are getting a uh, are going to start dancing the Dance of Spirits. So the Dance of Spirits is giving all your allies um, on your team, except for Guardian Gazelle, 100% increase in attack. It's reducing all received damage to all your allies, except for Guardian Gazelle, uh, reducing damage by 50%. It's giving all your allies uh, immunity to new status effects. But here's the kicker. If the caster dies or if Guardian Gazelle dies, 
the dancers, uh, if you have that special on all your other heroes, are going to receive 100% um, damage. And their mana is going to be reduced to zero. It's going to be reduced by 100%. And this effect cannot be dispelled. So this is a big problem uh, in terms of if you let uh, Guardian Gazelle's special go off and then you let her die, you're essentially going to cripple or wipe out your team. Um, you're going to take all that mana that you've been trying to generate and really take it to zero. But if you can keep Guardian Gazelle alive and protected, uh, she is a really great hero. So I'm going to give her an A-rate, A-rated uh, score uh, for uh, the sole fact that she's going to be really powerful against your uh, Dark Titans. Um, so just you know, just keep in mind if you're going to use her, um, if you're lucky enough to get her and level her up, just make sure by all means keep her alive. Um, don't don't decimate your your hopes of doing any high damage on that Titan. Uh, so Guardian Chameleon is a nature wizard. Uh, he is a, another five star legendary. His Stats when fully ascended are going to be 714 attack, 780 defense, and 1339 health. His special is called Elemental Magic, and he's running at average mana speed. So his, his uh, special is very interesting. He's removing all dispellable and undispellable status effects from all enemies. He's changing the element of all enemies to the element they are strong against for three turns. And then all allies get plus 54% attack for four turns, and all allies get plus 36% critical chance for four turns. So Guardian Chameleon is very interesting. Uh, I would say he's probably a more advanced uh, hero to use in the game. Uh, so I put together an example of for the Titans how this might work well. If you were going against a nature Titan and you had Guardian Chameleon in with four other nature heroes, uh, you could fire off his special and essentially turn that nature Titan into an ice Titan um, and then really put your nature heroes in a good place to really do a lot of good damage. Um, the the one kicker here and this works by for all elements by the way so he's an interesting uh hero to use in other aspects of the game um but the other um i guess the other interesting way that maybe you could use guardian chameleon is if you have some heroes that are your hero collection is just kind of weak against a certain element um, of a titan uh, maybe you could put guardian chameleon in and you could uh, basically turn a weakness into a strength you know you could you could take um a titan that you would be really hard for you to attack and you can really weaken him by changing changing his element into uh something that benefits you know the team that you're strongest in uh the one thing to keep in mind with this is the strategy is very mana dependent because uh, you're going to have to use a lot of mana pots or resources to make sure that you are topping off uh, Guardian Chameleon's uh, mana at all times. If you go in and you don't have mana to fire off his special, uh, this whole plan could really backfire on you. So just keep that in mind. Um, he's he's a I would say he's a above average skill type uh, hero to use, and then he's gonna you know he's he's gonna be dependent on those resources. So I'm gonna give him a B overall, uh, just because it's not really straightforward, um, but. He does have some usage there. And as far as the Titan element that he is strong against, um, I think it's open. You know, just the, the example I gave you of you could pair him in a 4-1 situation with four other heroes of another element and just convert that Titan into the element that they're, you know, is weak against their attacks and, you know, you're good to go. So Guardian Chameleon, definitely a, a interesting and, and fun hero. Uh, I wouldn't mind uh, getting uh, getting him and, you know, playing around with it. A little bit um, so guardian panther is our nature fighter hero uh, she is a five-star legendary her stats when fully ascended are going to be 786 attack 630 defense and 1349 health her special is called eye of the panther and she's running at fast mana speed she's dealing 210 percent damage to the target and nearby enemies the target and nearby enemies are getting minus 54 percent defense against dark for four turns and she's dispelling buffs from the target and nearby enemies so Guardian Panther, another A-rated uh, Titan killer. Uh, she's going to be very strong against your Holy Titans. So very, very cool hero. Um, I really like her aesthetic as far as her kind of her look of her hero as well. So pretty, pretty cool hero overall. Uh, so for the portal pools, um, again, Guardians of Teltoc is not technically live yet. Uh, so we're going to probably do some pulls once the event goes live and then we'll check what the rewards are in the event as far as some of the Ascendant materials. 
um, or the emblem counts and then I'll, I'll put those in the next video I just want to make sure that I'm not putting out incorrect information so we're gonna double check that and then we'll get in in a part two uh, so part two of the video will go live on November 12th uh, which is in a couple days from now so thanks for tuning in on this video I hope that this uh, first part helped you out and uh, you know, subscribe if you want to see the next video. And like always, uh, thanks for the subscriptions. Thanks for watching the videos. And we definitely hope to see you on the next video. Take care, everybody.